become once again a player to capture the imagination and the hearts of the world. again with boost football building blocks number two uh, our brother Paul couldn't make it today so we had a guest come in his, in his place Malcolm this, Shaw nice to meet you this is Malcolm Shaw uh, we play with him at here at this college Roberts Wesleyan um, fantastic player he's from Toronto Canada so uh, we're pumped to have him today boost building blocks is simply a core warm-up stuff um, stuff that you want to warm up before every training session. Um, we're eventually going to have, I'm working on it now, we're going to have a website coming out and we're going to have a training guide uh, where we'll integrate, we'll show you the boost building blocks and then the things that you can train on every single day. Alright, let's get started. Alright guys, when we're doing these uh, building block skills, um, you don't need a full pitch. You do, you, uh, actually, we're training in an 18 yard box right now. So. Right here we have five yard cones by five yard cones. That's all the space you need. If you can only do this in your backyard, if you can do this only in your garage or your basement, that's all you need. You don't need a ton of space for these drills, okay? That's what we're going for. How's it going guys? Uh, we're back here with our first uh, drill of the core building blocks. Um, the first drill we're doing today is the caca pivot. Um, it's a very simple drill just to keep the ball you know, under control. Kaka is really good at this, that's why it's named after him. We're just going to be touching the ball with the inside and outside and just pivoting on our left foot. Try and keep your head up to you know, get your head up look where the play is going. Okay, that's the first drill we're doing today. So young players, we want to keep in mind that when we're doing the cock-up pivot or any drill, we want to make sure that we work both feet. It's, it's very um, critical for a soccer player that we can use both feet. So now we're going to try our left foot. Let's see how quality we are. Okay, so to advance this drill a little bit more, we're going to place down a set of cones about a yard apart and give it a go. Alright, good afternoon footballers. We're about to do the three touch toe tap. This is not very applicable in a game, but it's just to enhance our foot skills a bit. Alright guys, for the three touch toe tap, uh, we're going to start every time, just for the beginners, we're going to start with our left foot, okay? So left foot's going to be on the ball, it's going to be left, right, our standing left foot that touched the ball first is now going to cross over and touch it over here. 
Um, if you're an uh, intermediate to advanced soccer player, right now you're saying, all right, that's a piece of cake, all right? But I'm just gonna walk through really slowly because it's a bit tricky. I try to teach this to my, I coach a U8 team. Um, I try to teach this to them and they kind of struggle with it. Um, some of the advanced players get it quickly, but it's a bit tricky, so I understand. So we'll start with our left foot. Left foot first, then we're gonna go right. Our left foot then is gonna cross over and toe touch. We start the process again after the toe touch. It's gonna start with our right foot this time, then left foot, and then we're gonna get the toe touch with the right. So whatever foot you start off with, if you start off with your left, then your left foot's gonna end up toe touching it. If you start off with your right, then your right foot is gonna end up toe touching it. So slow motion like this, back, forth, left, right, toe touch, left, right, toe touch, and then we go faster. Oh. Oh. And that concludes Moose Football! <laughs> Build it back!